Hello everyone, welcome back to EU4 as Coptic Ethiopia and I j went forward off camera just to uh, finish off this war with Kilwa and there we go, so we've basically given all of the cores, all of Mombasa's cores back to him as well as his claim, so yeah, once we annex uh, Mombasa we'll then be able to continue our expansion here, maybe Mombasa will even claim some more lands then we can fight, then we can uh, expand further. But yeah, I think for now that's totally fine because we'll be able to annex them in time and in the meantime we obviously have all of Arabia as well as the Mamluks to take over. So yeah, plenty of conquests, plenty of room for conquest uh, I guess. Now um, I am in the uh, vassal or the subjects uh, interaction screen here because I want to enforce the Coptic religion on them that will keep them busy. Uh, they will have liberty desire but that is gonna drop quickly and it's just gonna make my life easier when I later want to take over these lands. I hope that they're gonna be able to convert these things but I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Ah, yeah, they, oh, they might not be. Yeah, they might not be but they should get the bonus from being Coptic, right? So they should get the extra, what, 1.5 missionary strength so that should be enough. We'll, we, we shall see, I guess. So yeah, I'm bringing my uh, troops, uh, well, up here now, so we can start the war against Oman. And then, uh, well, that means we're also going to be at war with Hejaz. So, yeah, we'll see. Maybe I can make them a vassal as well. We still have one diplomatic relationship slot, but it does not seem like this. Yeah, Hejaz is way too big, and so is Oman, 120. So that's very unfortunate, but, you know, that's just the way it is. Um, we have that loan still. Okay, we're gonna be losing money and um, we're gonna claim an Al Karak glorious well yeah I'm not sure if we're gonna actually be able to get that one but that's okay and you should be moving yes you are moving forward and I guess it's time to make peace here now I do have a claim on Hoibo that's fine I guess I'll take that and other than that I don't know um oh I could make you a vassal as well Make you a vassal as well. Ah. Uh, well. No. No, 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 no. We won't do that. I will take this. I will take this. I guess I'm just gonna take this to make it look nice, alright? Um, I just wanna make sure that. Well, we have a truce with Kilba Ajaran, so they're not gonna join. Mamluks are not gonna join either. And the Ottomans, well, they might. But yeah, that's fine. So I think these three provinces are fine. I just don't want. Tunis to get in involved obviously as that would actually be kind of annoying so I want you to give up your operations that's okay break your lines not really too interested in that actually but I guess I could also give up your claims here sure why not all right we'll make it look a little bit nicer I, I guess that's okay I guess that's okay I, I always uh, punish you guys well, well not punish you but I torture you with ugly borders and uh, yeah so I think having some nice borders for a change is, is not is not bad so yeah uh, we can now uh, unfund this fortress that's cool and we'll just well we have enough admin so that's okay and uh, can we now start converting anything no probably not okay yeah that's fine so we'll gobble up Ajuan at some point but no one can take it away from us so that's fine this is basically secure land and Hedges, I want to get another claim. 30? Okay, so we're gonna wait until we can get one more claim from them. And that's... Oh, we've just been kicked out. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess we're gonna start annexing Funj now, since we can. So we might as well do that. Um, yes, we have lost the Casas Valley. That's okay. Waiting for our troops to come back. And what's this? Estates demand control. The clergy again. Damn you... I guess we now have plenty of provinces over here that we can give out. Maybe this one first. Now this one's nobility. Uh, I could give you this. Hmm. I might give this to the clergy just so they will shut up. There you go. And that should make them happy for quite some time. Yeah, so Mombasa, we have quite a lot of liberty desire right there. I could use some prestige to lower it. And actually, I might do that, at least for a little bit. Like, um, placate them. 20 prestige for minus 10. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's definitely necessary. Are we still losing yearly prestige? 
was this wrong? Apparently that's wrong. As long as we're losing prestige, I might use it to placate the local rulers there. Alright, that's fine. I think that's enough though. The rest I will keep. And yeah, Oman, you are only allied to Hedges, and Hedges is allied to me and the Ottomans, as well as Oman, obviously. So yeah, let's just declare this war. Hedges will not join at all. Well, that's perfect then. So we're free reign. Now that's even better. That's even better. So we'll just declare this war. Um, and right, my vassals have joined. Of course they have. And we'll just, uh, we'll just get in there and smash him, I think. And we'll split you guys in half. You can do this. In fact, I will probably send you over here first. And you... I will send back. Perfect. Any... I guess we could go for this technology, but since now Hedges is not even in that war, I don't think it's really all that necessary. So, yeah, the Ottomans could declare war on us, but if the Ottomans declare war, we have Hedges on our side. Because, yeah, they're my allies. So they're most likely going to join us. At least, I hope so. Uh, you know what we might do? We might want to increase our trust here, yes. Uh, because I don't really offensively, I won't need them offensively, so I think it's fine. We'll always able, we will always be able to cross because we control both sides of the, uh, well, both sides of the of the crossing, I suppose. So that's nice. And we can split you guys in half even more to continue the sieges. You split as well. Nope. What's this? Uh, seat party to Ethiopia. Right, I do have a claim there, but because I was initially thinking if we, if we were only able to protectorate them, I obviously would have instead taken their provinces. But yeah, luckily we were able to vassalize them. So I think we're just gonna renounce uh, the claim and core. That's totally fine. We don't need that, um, obviously. So yeah, I want you to split and part of the forces to go to Vusta, as you guys are going to so far. I don't know where your army is bro, but it does not seem to be here. How many men do you have? You do have an army, that's for sure. Just don't know where it is. So yeah, that's interesting. And I guess I will go for military advisor. We need one. So I guess we're gonna go for the reinforcement speed. That means we'll lose money again. We have to pay interest. Well, that we could change. I thought so. Yeah, this is the problem. The inflation. Look at this. Maintenance cost, infantry cost. This is the problem. 8%. If we get rid of this, we're going to be making so much more money. But yeah, I I guess we should go for economic. Economic ideas, but we can't. We have to pick either one of those. So I'm probably going to go with defensive, I could imagine. Um, because they don't really offer me anything. So yeah, I think I'm going to go with defensive because that will at least give us a little bit more morale that we need sorely if we want to be able to have a chance against the Ottomans. So yeah, I think defensive is probably the best. Yeah, let's pick that. And do I want to pick the new tech? Not really. Not really. I don't really want to pick anything right now, so we'll just we'll just keep it like that for now. Alright. And that that's it. I guess that's that's the war for now. We have corruption growing due to overextension and religious disunity. And we have some rebels popping up as well. Adrian rebels. Okay, so we're gonna get attacked there. Uh, that's not that's not perfect. I guess we'll send you guys there. You send I'll send you here and I'll send you over there. Is that correct? I don't know. We'll figure this out. So we're being attacked. Uh, well, we have reinforcements coming, probably not in time, but we'll, uh, maybe, please? Oh, yes. Okay, I think we made it in time. Well, that's actually close. Oh, yeah, I think we just made it. Wow. If they hadn't sent these reinforcements, we would have lost that battle. Holy shit. Yeah, that was way, way closer than I uh, thought it would be, but that's okay. So, yeah, we've beaten them, and... I'm not sure if I really want to take over this province, but it would allow me to go to war with Karakonlu, and we could free Armenia, and then we might be able to make Armenia a vassal. But at the very least, we would have a Coptic nation over there. We could protect them. 
Someone was actually telling me that since there are not really many other Coptic nations, going for the Defender of the Faith would be a good idea. And that is true. The thing is, it costs, well, the technology cost is not that great. So I'd rather not go for it. And I believe when your ruler dies, you lose it as well. So, so far I've just decided, nah, it's not all that important. So, yeah. And we have just... Okay. Diplomat has just come back. Was that from Fuge? No, we're still annexing him. Um, yeah, I guess Hedges, maybe. Maybe? Well, I, I guess I'm not gonna... Since, since I was just planning on fighting them um, if they were to join Oman in the war, I guess I don't really have to focus on them that much. I think I'd rather use my spy network to get some more claims on the Mamluks. Because that's... That truce will expire very soon. Yeah, half a year. So, yeah, we'll need to grab some more promises just to make ourselves even stronger. Okay, and we have an inspiring leader. Oh, that's very good. Yeah, that is very nice. He, he might be a babbling buffoon, but inspiring leader. So 5% extra morale, that's going to help quite a bit in all of our wars, no matter who we fight. But most importantly, it's going to be uh, good against the Ottomans. So, yeah. Mm. We're just gonna besiege that, that's fine. And that loan. I hope we can squeeze enough money out of uh, Oman in order to get that, uh, to repay our loans. What's this? Civil War, okay. What's this? Hazali Separatist. Haza will be. Oh, I don't want them to spread. But well, I don't really care, I suppose. But yeah, that will be converted to Coptic. And I guess since we kind of got this war under control, we do not have to pay for this fortress here. Yeah, that's not too important. And I don't think anyone's going to rise up here, no. But you, I will send... Oh, wow! Okay. Alright, that's a lot of men. That's a lot of men to deal with. Send you over here. Because, yeah, you're 13,000. Hmm... I think because we have our vassal here, we might be able to... We might be safe. We might be safe to send our 12,000 men back. Although, nope, I suppose it's not safe because he immediately tries to... Okay, yeah, we can't do that. He wants to go here. We can't let that happen. Alright, let's uh, convert some more things quickly. And yeah, I need to bring some down, some troops down here to deal with these uh, stupid rebels. And Mamluks will re revolt as well. Okay, that's not cool. That is not cool at all. Hoibo is set to be revolting. Yeah, let's increase the autonomy there. I hope we at least got a cause in. Let me quickly check that out. Mm, yes. Well, this one will be done. Nope. Nope. This has actually been... Ah, oh, damn it. Well, that sucks. In that case, you might actually want to try and retake this. Thank you. Just so we can finish the core. Come on. Walls buster, 35%. Can we please do this now? Then I just want to smash this army. Come on. Allow me to do this. Ugh. Seriously? I need to build a fleet so I can actually blockade stuff. Because that is getting very annoying. That I cannot do this. Has this been looted again? No, it has not been coastal, coastally raided by the knights. So that's good. Come on. Please, fall. Fucking fall now. It's about... Oh, finally. No, what? Damn it. It was this that we uh, made. That we, we took. Okay, sweet. Now, I'm going to have to send my dude away. Because he's otherwise going to just get smashed. In fact, I might just let you... I might just have you unsiege everything here. Come on, please, fall! The third time now. Finally. Alright, let's go ahead, smash his army, and we can, can send these 13,000 men back to deal with our rebels. Accept rebel demands or lose the... Oh, fucking hell. Every single time. But I think I'm actually gonna increase your loyalty of the nobility here. Yes. That's fine. Autonomy, that, that's okay. Okay, we're going to be fighting him here. Perfect. That should uh, be a battle in our favor. Yeah, Funj is helping quite quite a bit, actually. Nice. 
And, oh, wow, look at these. Holy shit. We might not actually be able to fight Kara currently after all, because this is all going to be Hasa. That's annoying. All right. So, no more friends attached. You can just... Right, give me my... My cavalry. Split you in half. And besiege. This. I hope that they will not spill into our lands here. And wow. Okay. Peasants. Oh, that's okay. Have you converted anything yet? No. Let me see this. But he is able to. Okay, he's actually trying as well. Okay, good. So we just need to make sure that these peasants don't take over. But then again, why do I really care that much? I don't. Alright, so you please take this back. And you can go here as well. And then together, we'll hopefully be able to smash them. Nice. So what do I want from Oman? Well, I want this, as I have claims here. Who's gonna be pissed off? Yeah, no one important, except for the Ottomans, but they will be pissed off either way. I could release Sharjah, so that was kind of the plan. Hmm, operations, and I do need that province, because then I can fabricate and, you know, maybe releasing a vassal there would be nice as well. Okay, yeah. You want peace? I totally understand, but I cannot give you peace right now, as I have other things to do. Okay, have fun has Zuni zealots. Mm. Uh, I will give you a leader. I think I'm going to recruit an, a leader here, just because. Okay, he's absolutely terrible, but hopefully still be enough to defeat- No, nope, no, nope, not at all. Holy shit. He has no leader. How are we losing this? Seriously, how are we losing this? He has more cavalry, but... Yeah, okay, wow. I don't understand how we lost this this battle. We had, we had, we had no negative, you know, modifiers. And you're gonna go all the way to fucking Cairo, you piece of shit. Ugh, oh, man. That's very frustrating. And we're capped on admin points, great. So, I guess we're gonna go for the Voutness, Tolerance of the True Faith. Yes. That will help quite a bit, in fact. And. Mm, well. I'm gonna go for this as well. Chance of a new heir. And that means we could use this button a little bit more often. Because he's not really all that good. We're gonna see what his personality is like. If it's a good personality trait then I guess we'll keep him, otherwise I might actually kill him, although we're already 52, so it might not be the best idea. We'll have to see. Uh, I'll send you up there just so you're not alone. That's very annoying now, these Sunni separatists there, because they will, they will convert these lands. I don't want that, obviously. Can you at least? Oh, perfect! Well, it couldn't have been better than that. Alright, we'll send in these troops. Yes. Oh, yeah, they're fighting They're fighting quite well. So, we'll see how long the battle's gonna go on for. And I guess I'm gonna have to shift consolidate, you guys. 17,000? Yeah, come on. Alright, there's gonna be the other battle. 15,000 against 11,000. And, yeah, that was... Okay, that worked out incredibly well for us. We got lucky there. I do, I do admit that. We got quite lucky here. Okay, so... I guess we're just gonna split half. You take this, and you take this. Perfect. Um, and I actually... Hmm. I'm gonna get the mercenaries here. And I'll send you here. I wanna, I wanna see what kind of mercenaries we have. I wanna get an overview over that. I'll get you guys just together over there, maybe. You can... Siege some more problems. Oh, is this? Oh, wow. Copper and spices? Those are some really nice provinces, actually. I like that. Alright, you can go and loot some more over there. I do, unfortunately, have to siege this fortress, because otherwise we won't be able to get what we want. Do I even have a cannon here? I do. How many men do we need? Six only. So, I guess we can bring you. Perfect. 
Yes. All right. That's how we're gonna do it. Nice. So we're gonna take the minimal, uh, minimum amount of attrition. And yeah, our our manpower situation is doing so well now that I think we might be able to get rid of these mercenaries that we have because that's gonna help out our economy quite a bit. Even though, okay, you are already a full non-mercenary unit. I guess we're just gonna get rid of these guys. Yes. Just like that. And you need... 6 infantry. There you go. To function properly. And we'll start converting you once again. We still have that... Uh, right. Still have that loan. Hmm. Oh well, but yeah, basically the war with Oman is won. I want to get my, I want to get these provinces. We will definitely get that. And I do also want to get this one province here so that we can then declare Holy War in Karakoinlu. And then we will we'll be hopefully able to release Armenia. We will have to get over here though. So it's going to be a, a war that takes quite some time. But as long as the Ottomans are content with, you know, just sitting there. I'm I'm not too worried actually so yeah we definitely have to help out our um, vassal Mombasa though because they are having some rebel problems but other than that uh, things are looking quite well so I'm very pleased actually as to how things are going so yeah thank you guys so much for watching um, I uh, yeah I hope you have enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time